do a little car tour. Y'all catch the details. We got the Maybach logo down here. And as y'all can see, we're in my very, very, very messy closet. But this is the problem. I've been thinking that, thinking about the fact that I need to get in my bag. I have like five to six different streams of income. Well, the skin coming up. Mm. Boy, y'all see that goodness gracious in that butter yams, the maps. And these are Easter colors, but it's just way too colorful for me. I'm here. We outside. We outside. There you go. Okay, y'all. So we made it down to the main street. It go all the way down here. Try the whole week sliding. Oh, Lord. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to a new vlog. We are at the dealership. I had to bring the wag to get an oil change, and I'm real mad because we need a transmission flush as well. <sighs> And apparently I bought the maintenance package when I got my car, but I'm over the amount of amount of oil change that comes in the package. So I have to pay for it. And this is a $1,300 service. So I'm a little butt hurt. But we dropping the car off now and then I'm gonna get something to eat from the cafe here in the dealership. I'm sorry. So while we wait, I'm walking around the showroom and we just walked by a Maybach. So I want y'all to see this Maybach because it really looks just like the wag, but it's a little sexier. It's a little sexier. Let's do a little car tour of a car that ain't mine. 2024 Maybach. They told me if you can't afford a chauffeur, don't buy this car. So the car alone is 174. Y'all catch the details. We got the Maybach logo down here by the where the fog lights typically are. I think these things come out. Oh, they got it locked, so we can't go inside. But inside, it's pretty basic to me, outside of the seats. So I got everything done, got my car checked in. And I told y'all on the last vlog, they booked me again without a loaner. So I'm waiting on the shuttle that drops and picks up people when they're getting oil changes and shit. So she about to come pick me up and then take me home. But let me just say that Maybach is so sexy. Every time I see them cars, it just motivate me because although it does look like my car, it's like having a basic Chevy versus the SS Chevy type of thing. Like it has the same body as my car, but it's just a whole different experience inside that damn Maybach. So I wanted to tell y'all about Mercedes warranty. So my last Mercedes, I got it brand new because I'm like, I want a brand new car, uh, 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 whatever. This time when I got this Mercedes, I got it pre-owned because Mercedes are one of the few dealerships that do this thing where they give you unlimited warranty for their certified pre-owned cars. You can't get an unlimited warranty with a brand new car. It has to be a certified pre-owned, meaning I have warranty regardless of how many miles I got. Usually when you get a car warranty, like it's like, three years or 30,000 miles type of thing, whichever one comes first, it, it expires. In this particular case, mines go by time. So my warranty expire in 2027, regardless of how many miles I have on my car, which is good because we drive a lot as y'all see. We do a whole lot of freaking driving. 
So it's perfect for me, regardless if I got 300,000 miles on my car. If something go wrong with the major parts, we cover it bumper to bumper. So if y'all are interested in a Mercedes, I recommend getting a certified pre-owned and that way you can get that warranty. And then always, 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 when y'all get a new car, buy y'all maintenance package because you always come out cheaper. I'm mad, mine's expired. I'm about to buy another one. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Get some gas. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Hey, y'all. Huh. So, we've made it home. And as y'all can see, we're in my very, very, very messy closet. So, I wanted to do a whole house cleaning today which was unrealistic when i said the un when i said the expectations but i still in my mind i thought i was gonna do it but today i woke up and we had a lot of unexpected events that happened nor ended up having diarrhea so i had to take her to the dealership which caused me to run late taking I me mean, take her to the groomer which caused me to be late uh taking my car to the dealership so that set me back like two hours because i had to wait till the groomer was open. She, I was supposed to, my car was supposed to be dropped off at 7 a.m. I didn't get to drop it off till like 10.30. So that was like three hours that set me back. So now we're finally home. It's like one o'clock and I decided I can't clean the whole house today. It's just unrealistic. For the most part, my husband and the kids, they, they're able to do downstairs. But the part that's been bothering me is my closet and then my bedroom as well. So I want to get rid of a lot of clothes that I no longer wear no more or that's too small because in my mind, child, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to work out, do, 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 all that good stuff. And I'm going to be able to wear the clothes again. But that shit don't ever happen or it'll happen and it don't be like as drastic for me to go from wearing a size 13 now back to a size 8. So I got to stop pouring all these clothes that I don't no longer wear or just don't fit my style anymore. So we about to clean this closet, then clean my room. And then we're going to clean the laundry room in my hallway. And that's that for today. Because I need to see my clothes in order to dress effectively during the week at work. Because right now what's been happening is I just grab some shit out the closet. And I be having on like three shirts. Because I know it's cold outside. So I just start putting on shit. Don't even go. Just start putting on shit. And I just be looking like a homeless person. <laughs> So I need to get this closet together so I can hear Darius, so Darius can shut his mouth. So that's what we're about to do real quick. So y'all about to watch me declutter and clean this closet. We're about to start by taking out all these hangers that are not being used. I ain't even about to show y'all Darius out of the closet, but this is all me. I got like this wall, which is a small space. Y'all can't see that. Then I got this wall. Then I got my closet that's in my beauty room. But there's got a little section over here, girl. And he got like four shirts hanging up and four pair of pants. This man do not have a lot of clothes. It be me. <laughs> it be me. Why Darius hung up my pajamas like it's an outfit? Where am I wearing this to, sir? Probably won't ever wear this little dress again. Too skimpy. So it has to go. Child, this is a size. I play way too much. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's literally a size extra small. These titties ain't even a size extra small. This shirt is from probably... 08 or something. So this is all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. I'm about to bag it up and put it in the trash bag. And this is what the closet looked like currently. Definitely decluttered. Still got to pick up some trash off the floor and vacuum. But this is all the clothes that I've decided to keep. 
next phase is going to be to actually organize it this is just decluttering and we were successful i literally just sat on live with y'all for two hours if you was not on that live or you missed it girl what you doing go back and watch that live it was very fun, very entertaining. The closet is done. I'm about to get all this stuff picked up right here. And then we about to head back to the dealership to get my car. Because I just got a text that that was done. And I'm happy my car is done before I had to go get an ore. So we are all done. This is what the closet looks like. I ended up putting my jackets that are hung up and clean over here. There's some that's dirty and some of the cleaners. Put my tennis shoes and boots over here. Leftover tennis shoes over here with the rest of the heels that I kept. And then this is the clothes. <sighs> this is Derek's little piece of closet with his little piece of clothes. I tried to straighten it and push it to the side. I packed his shoes up neatly. And then I ain't touch up there. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm looking at the next step of BMF's expansion. Come for the new season of BMF. Came out to it is one thousand one hundred and sixty one dollars and thirty one cents. Okay. Isn't she lovely? My bedroom is all fresh and clean. Vacuum, clean the carpet, did all that kind of stuff. Now, I did not do these two baskets of laundry. I didn't get around to it. Maybe sometime during the week. But I got up here, wiped down, cleaned down. I moved that garbage bag. I got to change the trash shortly. But look at it. Look at me. In my Cardi B voice. I was just listening to her. That's what I was jamming to. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So, I ain't gonna tell y'all. It's been like three weeks since the last set of footage that y'all seen. But this is the problem. Our camera is broke. I talked about it a little bit in the last vlog. This should be a new vlog, but we got footage that we're just gonna add on to. But I talked about it a little bit in the last vlog. But when I filmed, it just looked real, real dark. So, the cameras had me stressed out. Finally got everything lined up to where I can send it back to Sony and i just got to taking my pictures and we're gonna do that at some point today and since then y'all i've been wearing a little wig 
I ain't flapped it on today yet. I want to do a hair review that I still haven't gotten around to. That's why my um little TWA, Teeny Winnie Afro, is braided it down. But that's the plan right now. And we're about to go to Derek's job for his lunch. So I'm about to slap my wig on and we're about to get out the house. So y'all, and this is a little Amazon wig. It's a little over $100 for this box braids. And y'all just seen my hair before. And it lays so natural. I didn't even glue it down. When I do glue it down, I just glue the ear flaps right here. And then do a little baby hairs. But it is what it is. This is my little everyday throw-on wig when I don't feel like doing nothing. Y'all should definitely grab y'all one. The lace is top tier. I'll leave it linked down in the... um description box but i did a review when i first got this wig and i've had it for almost a year now like i said so yeah this is the look i stopped and got gas and then i grabbed my sweet and technique sauce like i'm a sauce girl i don't know about y'all but sauces are very very important when i'm eating and darius told me to surprise him for lunch on what we're eating i hate when he do that because i feel so pressured to outdo myself on the last meal that i picked but I found this place called Soul Food Express that people always talk about here in Jacksonville. It's like on the north side. And he's been talking about soul food. We're tired of Potter's House. We're tired of all the other soul food places. And your girl ain't about to cook right now. So he about to get Soul Food Express. And I got him like turkey necks. Y'all gonna see the plate when I get it. But I got me a pork chop sandwich. I love pork chop sandwiches. And if you're from Duval, you know when you eat a pork chop sandwich, you eat kettle mint, sweet, and tangy sauce. If not, what are you doing? So that's the tea on that. But aside from that, what's been on my mind, what I've been thinking about, I've been thinking that, thinking about the fact that I need to get in my bag. I have like five to six different streams of income. And before I used to be very organized, but my organization kind of fell to the wayside when I started making a decent amount of money on social media. I'm always like, I'll make it back. I'll get it back on social media. Like, never really paying attention to shit no more. As long as my card swipe, I'm good. Da -da 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 -da. And it wasn't until I was watching Peyton's live when she talked about her breakup that she recently had. And she was talking about how much time she splits in between her four different businesses. And I'm like, sheesh, I got more than that. And I don't pay attention to none of them up. I just post when I want to post like things kind of got on autopilot and I don't like that because if things are going well now just imagine how well things could be going if I got organized and I see where money was coming and going and I just went and so freaking free-handed my job with the, with the schedule that I chose to work Saturday through Tuesday I'm supposed to get a shift difference of like a hundred dollars every paycheck and I ain't noticed that I wasn't getting the shift difference this whole time I've been working the shift until somebody else brought it up at work so I never pay attention to my checks. Like as long as I get the notification that a deposit hit, okay, I know I got paid. I don't really pay attention to shit. This whole time, like if you look at the back pay, it's almost six to seven hundred dollars I missed out on and I didn't even freaking notice. So I wrote down all my little streams of income. God, I'm not saying little like that. That's just me talking in my little slang. I wrote down all my big streams of income because even if they big, God gonna make sure they get, even if they not big, God gonna make sure they get big. So I wrote down all my big streams of income and I just wanna kinda like dive into them and even certain avenues I wanna write eBooks on because I've talked about some of them to y'all, but some of y'all don't know the details. So I wanna write eBooks so I can start selling those. So the first and foremost for me right now is my job. That's my biggest stream of income and that's my most consistent. So I want to make sure that I get organized with that and also get my bonuses to a consistent amount. Because like one month, my bonus will be 3000 Next month, it'll be 6000 So it's like big fluctuations. I want to get organized and in the groove enough at work because I've been there almost six months now to where I'm consistent bonus in the stream the same amount so that's income number one my next biggest income is facebook now i talk a lot of shit about facebook because although it's a big income right now it's not consistent i went from making like 20 bands on facebook at one point a month to making 200 dollars a month now they done redid their pay structure again and i'm back to making about three to four bands a month so i want to get in a schedule to where i'm posting enough to maintain that income because right now we just be like whatever i feel like posting whatever i got going on in life i'll go ahead and throw on facebook mind you darian went viral on facebook a lot of y'all might have seen that i posted on the community board i'll put the post here up on the screen but a lot of my posts has been going viral with like the mommy son vibes and energy and then also i made a post like i be trolling on facebook too 
I made a, a post talking about how I took a picture with a random guy, which was my nephew, and the people all in the comments got mad as hell. That picture made like a thousand dollars. So Facebook is starting to be a a good earning stream again. So I want to get consistent on that. Now after Facebook, we have YouTube. YouTube falls into two different categories because you got YouTube ad streams and then you got YouTube sponsorships. My YouTube ad streams are averaging right now at almost a thousand dollars, which is cool. But if I can make a thousand, I can make two thousand. That's how I be thinking. Like if I can do this now, imagine what I can do if I scaled up and got my got my shit together. So then it was a point where I'm like, I don't feel like doing YouTube collabs because you gotta really be organized to do YouTube collabs because you gotta meet people for deadlines. It's just a lot. But I was talking to Ebony Ebo a while ago. Y'all go ch uh, follow her channel if you're not following her already. And she was like, since you're leaving money on the table, and I always be like, I'm taking the table, I'm taking the forks, I'm taking all of it, I ain't leaving shit on the table. So come to find out, I'm leaving shit on the table. So I'm gonna start accepting collabs again, with collabs, so y'all will see that coming on the channel because that's like some couples, a few, almost a thousand dollars a pop. Um, and I know about here, so I can give my honest opinion on here. Um, even just like regular collabs, like I got a collab coming up with a therapy company and I was really excited when they reached out to me because I remember months and years ago, I'll see other YouTubers that I watch, bigger YouTubers, and I'm like, oh, I'm just starting this channel. I can't wait till I get to that point. And now to see them reaching out to me and they're willing to pay my rate. They didn't even ne negotiate me down. I was like, I'm just gonna charge them a, a little couple hundred dollars. Ebony was like, no ma'am, this is what you need to charge them. And I told them my rate and they accepted it. So that's gonna be a collab up and coming. So those are two different streams of income but I always categorize it under YouTube. So that's three. I got me a little list over here. Now we got Amazon. Amazon is up and coming right now. I'm at a few hundred dollars on my earning on Amazon reviews and affiliate links. But I want to write an ebook which is going to open up another stream of income for Amazon. I want to write an ebook on how you can get started with tips and tricks because I feel like I'm experienced so I know a fast track avenue versus if you were starting day one, you're going to have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations that can delay your earnings. So I want to make a little um, Amazon ebook. It's going to be like between five to ten dollars, you know, just for my time because time is money. Um, the next thing is my website, Shop Curvy Grace. While we're talking about ebooks, I have ebooks on there on how I got monetized on YouTube in like three months. How to write your own ebook because if you know how, if you know anything, if you know it's simple as natural here. I seen this girl write an ebook on how to take care of your natural ear here. I seen this other girl I know, she wrote ebooks on certain exercises. Like, if you know anything that you can share with people and you realize you keep having to share the same thing over and over and they keep coming to you about it, write an ebook and that way you can save yourself time and explain in that process. And then also you can earn for your time because time is money and your knowledge is valuable. So on my website, there is a guide. It's two dollars and fifty cents, not nothing much, on how you can write your own ebook. All my ebooks I've wrote in under twenty-four hours. So I want to write an ebook on Amazon earnings, and then I also want to write an ebook on Facebook because people ask me about that. So that's up and coming. So I got to get my store organized, and I don't took down all the clothes off my store. The only thing I'm going to be selling going forward is hoodies and t-shirts, and it'll be different stains. Like right now, it's just a Grace girly stain on there. But I'm gonna come out with one that say West T. It's gonna be a bunch of different um, shirts and hoodies that y'all can purchase because it just makes more sense for me from my business stand standpoint. I don't have to come up with with as much. Well, I don't have to come up with any capital to sell shirts and hoodies. Like you don't with that particular business. That might even be an ebook. Comment down below if y'all want to see me write an ebook on how to get started in that particular business because you don't have to have any money up front to do that. Um, my sunglasses sell really well, so I want to keep doing that. And my ebooks is a, a no brainer. So that's going to be the three things that my website is going to be focused around. And I'm finally ready to let go and let God with the name and the brand Curvy Grace. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be changing my domain and everything to just beinggrace.com. It's not, it's not going to be no more shop Curvy Grace. Like I'm just ready to let go of that phase of my life. So I want to organize the store. That's another stream of income. And I think that's everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that's the stream of income, not including Darius, because you know your husband's always a stream of income. But that's the tea, y'all. That's where my mind been at. That's where what I've been doing over the last couple weeks, just trying to 
get my life together because things has been pretty haywire. Well, we about to run and get this food. That's enough rambling because I know when Darius get in the car, he gonna want to talk to y'all too. That's enough rambling. I'll see y'all once I get to Soul Food Express. And then I need my phone. Don't even got no camera. Don't even got no camera. Y'all look at this. Ain't this some mess? They got the whole highway blocked off. And of all days for y'all to want to do some crap like this, y'all want to do it on the day that I'm going to mommy and mommy and mommy and stew up. The weather out here is so trash. Y'all look at my hard working man. He about to swap out of his wet clothes. It's, he's He works outdoors, so that's what they put on to stay dry. You're not gonna move your car, baby? Move <laughs> what? Oh. Thank you, thank you. So you're vlogging? Mm-hmm. This is a bunch of bread. I see a bunch of bread. Oh, this, this is my little sandwich. I got me a, a pork chop sandwich. Okay. Y'all, he never had this place before. I want to see what's his reaction to the meal, because remember what I told y'all? He been like, I want this, I want this. It look like it's soul food, but what's this place called? Like, soul Food Express. Soul Food Express. I feel like I ain't had that. You might have had it. You ain't had it with me. I don't know. You ain't had it with me. Who you had it with? Somebody. Somebody who felt caring <laughs> enough to give me some of this here. <laughs> Turn the place so they can see it. Uh, yeah, man, um, they said this is house bread. I don't know what house bread is. Well, the skin coming up. Mm. Boy, y'all see that goodness gracious in there? Butter yams, the mats, turkey wings over yellow rice. Mm. And, um, House bread and the hush what, puppy. What, this house bread right here? This the mm -hmm. house bread? Mm -hmm. And this a hush puppy. Mm -hmm. That's a big ass hush puppy. <laughs> but we about to see what it's about. I'm gonna let y'all. Mm. The Mac Mackin'. I mean, it ain't your Mac, but. <laughs> ain't nobody Mac gonna be my Mac because I make macaroni pie. I don't just make macaroni. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no. let, let me get a bite of the Mac. I'll be the judge if, if it's. Edible, or do you just not eat it? It's edible. Mm, okay. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that mac. They need a little bit more seasoning. And where this place at? Off MLK, by Phoenix area. Talleyrand. That's what that's called. Possibly, baby. I mean, that's oh, a bunch that's of shit that, out east, baby. I don't... Yeah, it's that area. But as soon as you get off by Phoenix, it's right off that area. So we have made it to our next destination. I'm at my nail shop. I came yesterday and I got a full set. I didn't vlog that, but this is the full set. I wanted to do Easter colors and these are Easter colors, but it's just way too colorful for me. Way too colorful. So I'm gonna keep these drippy nails and all these solid nails. I'm just gonna get like a nude clear polish over it. Like it's just way too many colors going on. And I'm the type of person that I love colors. So, you know, it's a lot if I say it's a lot. So, you got the head and hair. After I left Derek's job, I had stopped to my um best friend house. And I sat there for a few hours uh, to chill with her. Because she wanted to show me this video. She basically bought this class from somebody else. And anytime we buy classes, we always share logins. So in this particular case, she couldn't just share the log and I needed to be there to physically go through the class. And it's basically how to make money on TikTok shop using AI generated images. And it was mind blowing how much money people be making on TikTok shop. Like I'm always down to be put up on game and to be put up on knowledge. So I'm happy she did that, but I feel like I got a lot of plate on my, a lot of stuff on my plate right now. So I probably won't be doing it, but it's cool for anybody that's looking for extra stream of income, uh, just start researching uh, TikTok shop using AI images. Type that into Google, type it into TikTok, and I'm sure you'll find information. I'm the type of person that I like to do a lot of research. It's just like, 
it's like an orgasm in a sense learning things researching i love to do it so if you want to learn about that go ahead but that's basically all we did smoked a little bit of hookah and chilled and that was that now we at this nail appointment when i got my nail done yesterday i was a little butt hurt because she got an egg hunt going on i'm gonna show y'all some of the places where the eggs are located and when you open the egg it has like a piece of chocolate in there along with like a, a special discount I picked the first egg when I walked in the door and you know usually they say things that you find easily ain't as like valuable as things that you had to like oh that you had to like put in work for so I grabbed the first egg and it was just 50% off um, some jewelry that she sell but it was some other eggs in there that had coupons in there for like 50% off your set a variety of different things trying to oil my heel my heels my heels stay with a little with a little shadow little ash so i keep me a bottle of oil in here well let's go y'all hello let me know when you're ready so i'm sitting in the building waiting for my appointment she is a little bit delayed this is why i like early morning appointments but in the meantime, I'm going to take it back a little bit because me and Darius did go to Savannah for St. Patty's Day. So I'm going to let y'all watch that footage while I'm getting my nails fixed. I'm probably not going to record her removing the polish because it's really simple. I'll show it to y'all when I'm done. But this is what we did while we were in Savannah. I mean, What's up, y'all? Welcome to a new vlog. So, me and my, me and my, me. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. We outside. We outside. There <laughs> you go. So, we in Savannah. Um, His birthday was the other day, March 14th. The other day. And Savannah always do this thing for St. Patty's Day where they, like, turn the river green. It'd be a bunch of, uh, like, it's a whole thing. Like, it's a little vibe. A little, festival. A little, like, Mardi Gras-ish type of ish. So, we came down. Just for the night. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. I'm trying to get my neck, turn my collar down. I don't turn nothing down but my collar. That's it. <laughs> Let me show y'all what we're seeing. So we're on the rooftop of the parking lot looking down, and this is what it looks like. This is one of the main streets, but we got to get more over that way by the water. So we need to drop our pin. got is these little pouches it's called golden coins and they taste real good they not too sweet you can taste your liquor now we're about to try and find something to get into right now everybody really just walking around because it's still daylight so we got to go through this tunnel to get to the other side of things Okay, so I hope y'all had fun in Savannah, but as you can see, it wasn't much footage. Like, I plan on starting a new vlog in Savannah, but baby, we got them little pouches. The, it, we drew one pouch, one pouch, and we was through. Through! <laughs> it was so freaking strong. After we had them pouches, we tried to go get something to eat. They had a two-hour wait, and then we walked around for a little bit. Most of the clubs uh, for you to get in had, like, another hour wait, so we just ended up bringing our behinds. We just ended up bringing our behinds back home. But the nails are fixed. This is what they look like now. Still very colorful, but it's still very colorful, but I can bear with these. Like I couldn't do it with all them different colors on each nails. It was a lot. And she was a little upset because she was like, they were so cute. She's a younger girl. So, you know, 
she's like they're so cute the, the right hand was my favorite hand da, 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 da. and she was a little upset i'm like well i understand you mad but it could have been worse this is the best of the worst of the situation because my whole thing is i want my shapes back my um pointy nails and she don't like doing the pointy nails i'm one of the very few clients that get a whole hand of pointy nails people might get one or two fingers but i get my, get the whole hand yeah i'm ashy i just washed my hands i get the whole hand and i'm like i could have been in this mug next week talking about i want a whole child a whole week sliding oh lord i'm gonna take this thing off and put on my bonnet <laughs> That's so ghetto, but it is what it is. Y'all know how my vlogs be. Like, I do realistic vlogs, but um, I'm like, I could have been in your seat next week talking about I want a whole new set of stiletto nails. So wouldn't you have preferred just to do a little color change on six nails? And she's like, yeah, yeah, you're right, Grace. Well, let's go ahead and head home. Mm, child, today was a day in traffic when I was on the way home, heading back to my side of town. Like, I just don't understand how traffic even arrives. But that's not, that's neither here nor there. Tomorrow is my Monday. It's Saturday, but that's my Monday. That starts my work week. So I'm about to unwind for a little bit, wait for Darius to get home. And I thought I was going to be doing a wig and style this vlog, y'all, but I lied. Mm -hmm, I'm sorry. But I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog, y'all. I already know. Y'all could have been anywhere. Mm-hmm. You could have doing anything. Mm-hmm. Watching anybody, but y'all ain't here with me. And for that, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to get my camera sent off tomorrow. I wasn't able to do it today. So hopefully by the time the next vlog, we log in on my camera again and not my phone. Because I prefer to have one device that I can use and then one device that I can film on. Even if I had two phones, I would have been good. But sometimes I be needing to film two things at one time and having one phone ain't enough. But I digress. See y'all on the next vlog. Everybody out there, hear me, hear me.